authenticating your Golang application with JWT. Um, this is the very first video in this series. So to get things started, I'm going to initialize the dependency management. I'm going to be using that is Go models. And for we to do that, we're going to do it on the terminal here. We're going to call the name. We're going to write Go mode in it. In it, then we're going to give it the name of the package we're considering here. It's called JWT alt, right? So we're going to say JWT alt and we'll hit enter. So we'll give it some time. We're going to see that the Go mode is created for us here, as you could see, right? Um, the Go version we're using is 1.13 and um, the name of the model is what JWT alt. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the main.go file. For simplicity, this is the file that is going to house all the implementation. Um, after creating the, um, the main.go file, let us test how things work here. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create the main function, saying main. Let us print out some stuff on, in the terminal to see how things go. So say, uh, FMT print line. Okay, let's use print. Any of them you could use either print line or print. So I'm going to say this is um, sorry, this is the test. So this is the test. Now let's print this to the terminal. I'm going to say go run main dot go. All right. So everything works as expected. As you could see, we have this is the test. Now this is different between using uh, the print and the print line. The print line tend to um, after printing this, it tends to um, print the next thing that follows in a new line. So it's like we are giving a line space. Let me show you how it works. So we have this now. Let's run the command again. You can see that we have this totally in a, in a different line as compared to this. So um, that's about uh, um, testing if our main.go file is working as expected. The next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to define a struct that will have um, the user uh, data we are interested in. Right now, we are not interested in um, um, persisting data into any database, so we are going to have all the implementation here. So let's start by doing this. We'll say um, type user, it's a struct, and um, some of the details the user have is the user have an ID, and the ID here is of type in64. And the JSON representation is we're going to use ID. Now we're going to define um, the username. You could use an email if you want, but in this tutorial, I'm going to just be using um, the username. So the JSON is um, username. Then we're going to define the password field. So the password is a string, and the JSON is um, password. So right now we have our user struct ready. Now let us define a dummy user from this struct by saying var user is equal to user. Now we're going to define um, um, the user ID here, give it a value of one. We're going to have um, the user name. Let us call it um, username. Then we're going to have the user password. Sorry, the password. Let us call it uh, password. So right now we have um, pretty much things ready. We have defined the main.go file. Uh, we have also defined the user struct we'll be using for things like um, logging in. This is the user we are going to log in with, the user details, the username, and the user password. Um, in the next tutorial, we're going to wire up um, the login function and the create token function. These are the functions that will be used to log in the user and create a JWT token for the user respectively. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the very next tutorial when we will discuss.